The database manager. For those of you who may remember the BrailleSense U2 product line, uh, you may have gotten to know and appreciate the database manager that was included in that product. Uh, when the Polaris came out, uh, somehow this database never made it into that product, but here we are with the BrailleSense 6 and it's back again. So I'm going to go ahead and create a quick database and show you how to add records. Uh, you, anything that you want to track data on, if you can think of it, you can create it. So let's go ahead. I'll press F1 to get to the main menu. Final manager. Uh, it's probably already there. And I can space dot four down. Word processor. W. Until I get to organizer. But I know that the hot key or shortcut key to open that folder is the letter O. Address manager. A. So the first item in the organizer uh, folder is address manager. Space dot four down. Schedule manager. S. There's the schedule manager. Database manager. D. And there's database manager. No tables have been created. Table name. No items list item. So I hear no table has been created. Um, let's go ahead and create a table called recipes. Hey, I like to cook and even more importantly, I like to eat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call this one recipes. And I'm going to tab on. Field, no items, list item. And this is going to be. Add field, enter I, dialog button. Edit field, I hear that if I press Enter I, I can add a field, so since I'm here, I'll just press the Enter key. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. Uh, and let's call this one name. We want to uh, know what we are cooking here. So I just said dot five N because, of course, I can do this all in contracted Braille, followed by Enter. New field edit. Field name, edit box, one one list item. And let's say for whatever reason, the date that it was created is important to me, so I'll create a new field. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. Called date. Uh, recorded and tab on field type edit box combo box and no this is happens to be uh, closer to the bottom of this list so I'm gonna press space dot one to move up checkbox combo box wraps around um, we got time combo box, box uh, time and date combo box of course there's date I'll press enter on that new field edit field date recorded date to to list item Okay, and let's go with ingredients. Um, new field called ingredients. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. So, um, G R E D sign I E N T S. Uh, I'm going to. Field type, edit box, combo gonna box. going to make that field type a multi line edit field. Number combo box. Computer edit box, combo box. Multi line edit box, combo box. There it is. New field edit. Field ingredients, multi line edit box, 3 3 list item. Uh, let's do a new, another one called nutritional. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. Uh, hey, Google. Button press enter to activate. Nutritional. Nutritional is spelled N U T R I T I O N A L. Okay. I thought so, uh, but I wanted to double check, so I'll press space Z to get out of the assistant here. Field name, edit box. And I'm going to type in nutritional. T -R -I -T -I -O -N -A -L. Nutritional. Fax. Okay. Field type, edit box, combo Again, box. A multi line edit. Number com computer edit, multi line edit box, combo box. Enter on that. New field edit. Field nutritional facts, multi line edit box, 4 4 list item. And let's do one more. Add field dialog. Field name, edit box. Let's call it uh, heart healthy. Healthy. Now tab. Field type. Edit box. Combo box. And this is going to be a, a yes or no. So. Checkbox. Combo box. I'm going to make that a checkbox. New field edit. Field heart healthy. Checkbox. Five five list item. And I can come back in here and add fields, delete fields, modify fields. Um, it's, it's very flexible what you can do with this database. Add field. Enter I. Dot modify field. Enter M. Dialog. Delete field. Space D. Just tab in through this dialog. Previous field. Enter next field. Enter N. Button. Confirm button. And I'm going to confirm this table. Successfully added table. Recipes, one, one list item. So I have one table in here or database called recipes now. If I tab through here. Search recipes. Name edit box. I can type in a search. Of course, I don't have anything in here yet. 
Uh, but let's go into the menus. I'm going to press the function key F2. File, F, pull down menu. And let's see what we've got in here. Import from CSV, I, dialog, backspace, menu item. So if we already have been uh, tracking some data, in this case, let's say it's recipes, I can actually import from a CSV. So that is to say, if you've been um, keeping a recipe book in an Excel spreadsheet, one of the options when you go to save uh, a spreadsheet is to a CSV file. That's, that stands for comma separated values file. Exit Z space Z menu item. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to get out of here. I'll press uh, uh, F4 to get out. File F pull down menu. Uh, F4 again. Cancel. Name edit box. And, and at this point, date recorded Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. Edit combo box. Name edit box. I am going to go ahead and press Enter I to create a new record within my database. Add recipes dialog. Name edit box. I'm going to call this Jambalaya. How do you spell jambalaya? Um, jambalaya. It doesn't sound like jambalaya. <laughs> it's a lot of A's in that word. Date recorded Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. Edit combo box. And this is an edit combo box, so I can change this if I'd like to. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the same. Blank. And I know the first thing was my ingredients. Blank. For some reason, it's not speaking those fields. The second one was my nutritional facts. Heart healthy checkbox unchecked. And I've got a heart healthy option here. Confirm button. And um, heart health blank, blank. So let's just go ahead and say that I'm going to go to my uh, do a Google search for a jambalaya recipe. F File manager F. So I'm going to press B for my browser tools. Web browser B. Uh, space dot four down to Google search. Google G. search and enter. Search term edit box. And I'm just going to type in this ter search term uh, jambalaya. And, jambalaya uh, recipe. Enter on that. Searching. Searching, searching the internet. I got my little heart monitor sound, and uh, I'm seeing the, the Braille display fill with full cells as my progress indicator. Yeah, this one's taking a little while. At the mercy of a, a pretty slow internet connection here, so we might have to cut some of these beeps out. <laughs> Today, please. Okay, we filled 32 cells, and we're uh, working on a second set of cells. Hopefully, uh, we will get our results here pretty soon. It's making me question whether or not I have an internet connection. No, I do, because... Uh, the G lady was quite quick in her response. Okay, um, in the interest of not having to do everything I've done up to this point again, I'm going to go ahead and bail out of this. Jambalaya recipe. And I'm going to check my internet connection. Thomas. Wireless LAN 2 to list item. Access dog park, encryption, WPA2, sensitivity, excellent, connected 1-5 list item. All right, so I, I see I've got excellent connectivity. Wireless LAN 2 to list item. Um, Jambalaya recipe. Let's try this again. Enter on this, and perhaps uh, you cut out all the 
stuff before um, or between the time I press enter and this time. Searching. Chuck and Jambalaya recipe and HLBI, near 164 list item. Okay, and you see that I've got the first item in my list is called a Jumpin' Jambalaya, which sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and space stop four down. Creole style red jambalaya with chicken, sausage, and shrimp, 264 list item. Ooh, that's me. That's That sounds delicious. I'm going to press enter on that. Starting web browser. HTTPS www.seriouseats.com Creole style red jambalaya chicken sausage shrimp recipe. Loading. And we're loading the page in uh, the Creole uh, style red jambalaya with heading one. And I hear the, the name of the recipe is uh, Creole style red jambalaya. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate by heading by pressing backspace and the letter F for forward heading. Creole style red jambalaya with heading one. Why it works heading three. Oh, let's, let's go back the other way here. Creole style red jambalaya with heading one. So that it's called, that's what it's called is Creole style. Uh, Creole style. I'm going to just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to press the, um, the routing key in front of the word Creole. Press enter B. Start selection. To start my selection. And I'm going to press the routing key after the word jambalaya. Pre copy that. Successfully copied. Creole style red jambalaya with. And I'm going to press F2, F3 to move back into my... Task name, database manager. Database manager. Ingredients, multi-line edit box. And I'm going to go back to... Date recorded Wednesday, June's name Jambalaya edit box. The name and paste it right here. Enter with V. Paste. And let's see what we've got here. And I see on the Braille display, um, I do. We have the... Braille style red Jambalaya. Oh, something style. It, it left... Uh, I, I must have uh, left out the... The letter C. So I'll just go ahead and uh, copy that or, or and add that in. C. So now we have Creole style red jambalaya. Yeah. Okay. Date recorded Wednesday, June sixteenth, two thousand blank. All right. Now this is my ingredients. I'm going to press F two F three again. Task name: Google search. Title: Creole style red jambalaya with chicken, sausage, and shrimp. Two sixty four. Until I get item. to my browser session. Task name: Web browser. Creole style red jambalaya with. I'm going to press. Uh, Backspace with F to move forward through my headings. Why it works heading three. Why it works. Ingredients heading two. And here are my list of ingredients. I'm going to uh, space dot four down. Save recipe button. One, 28 down 795 grams. Can peel. This time I'm going to press the routing key all the way to the left of my uh, display. Start my selection. Start selection. Uh, folks, by the, only, by the way, we're the only note taker right now that can actually do a, um, a copy or a cut from a non-edit field. This is a web browser session, and I'm going to just go ahead and space down arrow or space dot four. Whole tomatoes, packed in juice. See note. About three cups, 720 ml. Homemade chicken stock link. And I'm just going to quickly space dot four down to get all of this. Or low sodium store. More is needed. One, one, four. Stuff, all chicken, these ingredients salt, pepper, included in one my recipe. Vegetable, neutral oil, three, four pound, Cajun or Creole, Antwi or Chorus, similar smoked or sausage, yeah, sliced chorus. Sounds chunks. pretty good. One medium yellow sounds onion, like eight, 225, two medium green bell peppers, ounces total, 200, seeded and diced. Four celery ribs, six, 170 grams, four medium cloves, garlic, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, fit Louisiana style hot sauce for serving. Oh, you gotta make a... Two teaspoons minced fresh thyme leaf, or one teaspoon dried thyme. One teaspoon dried oregano. One four teaspoon make cayenne a, pepper. Make four. a day of uh, this recipe. To taste. One four teaspoon garlic powder. Two bay leaves. Two cups long grain rice. Ounces three hundred. Three four pound. D vein trim. Six scallions. Wide and light parts only. Thinly directions heading two. Strained tomatoes uh, and add juice. Directions. directions heading two. Parts only. So that Thinly would be our, our cooking instructions. That could be next, but I'm going to press the cursor rounding buttons after uh, the word sliced here, and I'm going to press. Um, Oh, it, it, it did not announce that it was selected, but let me just do a copy. Successfully copied. Six scallions, white and light green. And I'll press uh, F2, F3. Task name, database manager. Ingredients, multi-line edit box. Enter V for paste. paste. Blank. And? One, 28 down 795 grams. And peeled whole tomatoes. Uh, at the top of the, C -note. the field, I just press space dot one, two, three. And if I press space four, five, six. Blank. D vein trim. And I see blank. that I'm at the end of the vein, my... Three, four ounces, 300, two cups, two, one, two, one, four teaspoon, kind of blank. Heart healthy checkbox unchecked. Oh, let's just say that this is uh, 
I can lie about and say that it's heart healthy. Heart healthy checkbox checked. <laughs> Maybe it is. Confirm button. And I'm going to confirm. Successfully inserted. Name edit box. And I'm ready to add my next recipe. So now let's go ahead and uh, back tab. So space with F3. Table name, recipes, one, one list item. And I see there's the name of my table. And if I go to exit this application now, and I can do that with a space Z as in zebra. Backup changes, yes prompt button. I'll say yes always when I when I make a modification to my backup in progress. Backup to database. Completed. Database manager, D. And that's really all there is to creating a database.